Hello everybody, Atlantic Ocean Watch here. Thank you for joining the channel. We're the USS Wisconsin here in downtown Norfolk, BB64, right by Nauticus. Uh, this is a, an unboxing and first day review of the Corbin 145 2018 model. Of course, it's 2020 is, is the year. Um, there's a pagoda in downtown Norfolk and some bamboo. I showed the bamboo because this timepiece you're about to see me unbox is made out of bamboo so here we go unboxing the timepiece there's the box there's the Wisconsin in the background BB 64 let's take out the watch all right, there's some of the specs that pop up on the screen. By the way, the specs came right off of uh, Amazon. I got this from uh, Amazon. It cost me about $35. The uh, case is bamboo wood. It is, um, of course, made out of bamboo. There are four screws holding the case back down. There's a leather strap, genuine leather strap. The width of the band is 20 millimeters. The length with the tang buckle is approximately 26 uh, centimeters. The case is 45 uh, in diameter, millimeters in diameter, and the thickness is 1.2 centimeters. There you go, there's some links there, which will be in the description comparing this timepiece to my daily driver, which is the blue watch saw on my wrist comparing the size so it's it's a kind of a small timepiece um, you almost don't even know it's there it's that comfortable so this is the pagoda in downtown Norfolk really cool place oriental kind of flair to it very beautiful place if you're ever in Norfolk. Uh, it's not too far from the USS Wisconsin and Nauticus. Please go check it out. Norfolk, Virginia is my hometown. I live in Virginia Beach, but I was born and raised in Norfolk, Virginia. So please, uh, if you're ever in the Virginia Beach area, Norfolk, 757 Hampton Roads, check out the city of Norfolk. So there you go, watching me walk with both watches on my wrist. I probably looked a little bit weird, but I wanted to feel both watches to get a good comparison um, of course the watch you're talking about is on the left hand side the bamboo watch and uh, it's very comfortable it's so lightweight you might forget that you even have it um, on your wrist now uh, the crown is the only uh, control for the timepiece um, it's like an old school kind of like I guess art deco radio kind of looking thing and so there's no seconds hand going around like tick 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 so when I first pulled it out, I was like, is it broken? Is it working? But once I set the time, I came back and looked at the watch like 15 minutes later and I saw that it had moved. But uh, it's really a unique design. It's really cool. I'm really glad that I went ahead and, and got it. Money has been tight uh, because I have <laughs> things I'm trying to take care of and uh, things are not happening the way I, I, they, they should be happening because of what's going on in the world right now. But I think that speaks to all of us. But I'm trying my best to keep this watch channel going as well as the other things in my life as I'm sure many of you are, uh, what you have going on. So I wish me luck and I wish you guys luck. But anyway, this is the Chrysler Museum of Art. Uh, if you're ever here in the city of Norfolk, you've got to go. And since this is a very artsy watch, uh, you need to come and uh, check it out. But uh, this is a very artsy watch. I figured that uh, this part of the video is very appropriate. And there's some art. There's some more information there popping up uh, on the screen for you. It's a quartz movement. Uh, it's a very basic quartz movement. It didn't really give me much more detail as far as what the actual quartz movement is, but it's probably some some kind of you know lower end Japanese generic movement. But it works so far. Um, this voiceover part of the video it's about day three right now. What you see on the screen is day one, and so far so good. Um, just so you know, it, so the watch does work. So when you first get it out and you don't see the seconds hand to get around again, don't freak out. Set the time. Wait 15 minutes, and then once you see it move, you'll know it's okay. If it doesn't move, then you know something's not okay. Um, 
But again, let me give you some more information. The band is leather. The band width is 20 millimeters. Uh, band is black leather, and the length with the buckle is about 26 centimeters. This garden here we're looking at, the Chrysler Museum of Art, is uh, dedicated to fallen military war veterans. And of course, as a military veteran myself, of course, I had to try to incorporate it into this uh, video. For those that are wondering, I'm an Operation War Store Hope. A veteran of the United States Navy Beach Master Unit 2, Beach Party Team Bravo 3, active duty, and then later on twice at Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 23.01 JEV Little Creek Fort Story. Um, but uh, anyway, the glass material is hard X, no problems so far. Of course, the buckle is tange, um, and it's just a really artsy looking watch. Um, if you're into that kind of stuff, something different, this is something that you probably really need to, to look at. Again, that's it, guys. Uh, you're seeing day one. The unboxing and kind of my first day kind of going around downtown Norfolk again if you're ever in Hampton Roads 757 the Virginia Beach area please come to Norfolk check out my hometown check out the Nauticus Wisconsin Chrysler Museum they have nothing to do with this but since it's my hometown I want to give them a shout out this is the get section of Norfolk by the way where the Chrysler Museum is a historic landmark and also uh, in the city of Norfolk I learned I didn't know this I you know NOAA the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric uh, Administration is there I didn't know it appears that they started in Norfolk. I didn't I didn't know they started in Norfolk. I knew they were there, but I didn't know they started there. So how about that? Learned something about my own hometown. But anyway, this is a great watch. If you want something different, uh, something unusual, I recommend it. And I give it a score of five clocks. Thank you for watching Atlantic Ocean Watch. Remember Atlantic Ocean Watch on Instagram where you'll see watches and some of my personal life and other things I I do and like and so forth. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing this unboxing and one day review of the Gorbin 145 2018 model. You guys take care.